All right, so I'm going to do some uh, distance speed time sample questions with you. So here we go. Uh, this is a question that is uh, starting at the same place and finding the difference in distance. So you need to go to the uh, the first lesson or the first note and find the formula. So let's look at the question. Ellen and Bernard are driving from Singapore to Malacca. All right, so that means it's the same place with the same distance in total. So after one hour, Alan completed half of the journey, Bernard completed one third of the journey. So there will be a difference in distance. All right, so that's half and a one third. If Alan's driving speed was 40 kilometers per hour faster than Bernard, what is the distance between Singapore and Malaysia. So this is total distance. So whenever you do a distance speed question, uh, always, always, always write down the distance, speed and time triangle over here. Okay, always write it down. This is the first thing you need to do whenever you are doing a distance speed time question. The second thing is to realize what kind of question is this? So this is a start same place difference in distance question. So therefore the so-called formula is difference in distance equals to difference in speed times the time. All right, difference in distance equals to difference in speed times time. So you need to write these two things out. Uh, so it will reduce your amount of confusion later. So the third thing is to draw the model of speed. So this is Singapore all the way to Malacca. So this is Alan and he completed uh, half. So let's rub this away first. So he completed half the distance uh, in one hour. So Bernard completed one third the distance in also one hour. So now we want to find the total distance from here to here. What is the total difference? All right, so the, dis the difference in distance is equals to the difference in the speed times the time. So what's the difference in the speed is equals to, it's given over here, it's 40 kilometers per hour. So this is equals to 40 kilometers per hour times the time that they travel is one hour, one hour. All right, so the difference in distance is half, u minus one third u. So we just use this as one u. So if this is one u, then this is half u, this is one third u. All right, so once we solve for this, then we can solve for the uh, difference in distance. So half minus one third is one over six. So therefore one over six, 40 times one hour is 40 kilometers. So 1 over 6u equals to 40 kilometers, uh, 1u is 40, so 6u is 240 kilometers. Alright, so that's the distance between Singapore and Malacca. So let's quickly review this question. Um, again, when you are writing, when you're doing a distance speed time question, I want you to write this down, very important, okay, uh, the formula. And also, if you understand or realize what kind of question it is, then write out this line as well, which is a difference in distance question. So the third thing you need to do is to draw the model. So Singapore, Malaysia, 1U distance, Alan, uh, half in one hour, Bernard, one third in one hour. So this is actually the difference. So the formula is difference in distance equals to the difference in speed times time. 
Difference in distance is this, 1, 6 unit. Difference in speed is 40, which is given. Time is 1 hour. So 1, 6 unit is 40 kilometers. Uh, 1 unit is 40, 6 units is 240. So that's the answer. Okay, so let's look at this question. So Kai Min is traveling from A to B. If Kai Min cycles at 10 kilometers per hour, he will reach the, he will reach town B at 745. If he cycles at 12 kilometers per hour, he will reach town B at 715. So if you notice, if he cycles faster, he will reach there earlier. So what's the distance between A and B? So as usual, I want you to draw your triangle, distance, speed, time. All right, make sure you draw this to find your answer. Uh, this is also starting at the same place because you're starting from A and traveling to B, but we don't know really, is it overtaking or is it finding a difference in, uh, in, in the distance? So anyway, A to B is a question mark. So I just label it as one unit. So if he cycles at 10 kilometers per hour, he will reach B at 7.45 p.m. And if he cycles at 12 kilometers per hour, then he will reach B at 7.15 p.m. Okay, so uh, different uh, distance, speed, time. So if you notice uh, the difference in the distance divided by the difference in the speed difference in the time so the difference in the distance is equals to the difference in the speed times the difference in time okay let's also find the time taken for this line which is time equals to one unit over 10 kilometers per hour all right so if we look up here time is distance divided by speed so i have distance which is one unit speed is 10 kilometers per hour and the other time is actually one unit divided by 12 kilometers per hour all right, so I have the two times over here, and I know that uh, if I take this time minus away this time, this one minus away this one, it's actually this time minus away this time, which is 30 minutes. So let's try that. One unit over 10 minus away one unit over 12 is equals to 30 minutes okay so this is 12 kilometers per hour 12, uh, 10 kilometers this is 12 kilometers per hour now if this is hour this is hour so i must change this from minute to hour equals to 0 0.5 hours okay so let's solve this so i need to make them the same denominator for this part so it's Let's just do 120, so 12 times 10. So I need to take the 12 and multiply here, the 10 and multiply here. So it becomes 12u minus 10u equals 0 0.5 hours. So 12 minus 10u is 2u is equals to, I take my 120 and multiply here, 120 and multiply 0 0.5 equals 60 kilometers so therefore one u is equals to 30 kilometers okay so that's how we solve this problem uh, let's review it again so kaimin is traveling from a to b kaimin travels at 10 kilometers per hour he will reach there at 745 if it's 12 you will reach there earlier which is 715 so i know that uh, the difference in time is 30 minutes over here so the difference in time here is actually 30 minutes but I need to find the, the time uh, that is worked out by this so I need to find one unit over here all right uh, we, I need to find one unit so I know that if I take one unit and I divide by 10 kilometers per hour which is this my distance equals to one unit my speed equals to 10 kilometers per hour then I can find my time okay which is one unit over 10 and the other one is actually one unit divided by 12 kilometers so if i take the 
uh, faster time minus away the slower time then I will be able to find this I can make the equation over here so I solve it out and then I can get uh, two units equals to 60 kilometers and one unit equals to 30 kilometers which is this because a to b is one unit uh, a to b is one unit so therefore this is my answer